Welcome to Nanda Deepai Hospital. It's a center for surgical excellence, and we also share our expertise and skills with many of our colleagues. In this video, I am going to speak about a technique called single piece at a time, and also speak about how to reduce the endothelial damage using this technique. Many times we do uneventful surgery and postoperatively we find these localized endothelial damage. And the most often the reason is either instrument touch or at times uh, giving fake energy too close to the endothelium or mechanical damage by the pieces hitting the endothelium, which is common so with grade three or harder crack cataracts. So, I'm going to show a similar case here where we saw that postoperatively there was an area where the endothelium looked damaged. I have done the chopping. So all the chops have been done. Each heminucleus divided into three pieces. I have taken out the first piece and then I am taking out one piece at a time. So you have to remove single piece at a time and try to avoid freeing up the pieces in the bag. Otherwise, they will start moving around freely in the anterior chamber. Now here I should have taken the single piece on the right side. Instead, I took out the central piece and it resulted into two free pieces as you can see here and they wobbled around in the anterior chamber vigorously for a moment. But those few moments of touch with the endothelium are enough to cause that little damage. So use single piece at a time technique reduce the flow rate or vacuum for the last pieces if you find them flying around and use good dispersive OVD. You can just replenish the OVD if you find that the pieces are freely moving in the anterior chamber. This will reduce the endothelial damage that you see. For more such videos, do subscribe to my YouTube channel, go through various playlists, particularly the thinking process and basic steps. Thank you so much.